Welcome back to the Nightstand, the nightly talk show that discusses management strategies with top business leaders and entrepreneurs that can help people go further, faster in business. I'm your host, Vina. I'm your host, Jesse. I'm your host, Megan. And I'm your filmer, Savannah. And this week will be slightly different in the fact that we will be sharing with you, the viewers, some of the most meaningful, intriguing, and useful things we have learned during the construction, execution, and presentation of this film thus far. Well, something that I learned through this project was how to manage time. And I know when I was in high school, I didn't really have to manage my time that much since the assignments were so easy. Mm -hmm. But now that I have a job and I'm actually in college, I don't sleep. And so <laughs> I had to learn how to manage my time, especially when other people are depending on me, mm -hmm. because it's really inconsiderate if like they're waiting on me, because I know right. they have, because they also have jobs in school as well. I definitely think that's something that we all can take from this project and all have either learned or improved ourselves on this project, especially the idea of integrity, but always doing the right thing, even if no one's actually watching, we're still accountable for our actions affecting the entire group. So overall, it ties back into the concept of accountability, which I feel like was a main point of something to learn throughout this entire class. That can be implemented inside of work, outside of work, inside of school. I definitely think that you should communicate with whoever you're working with, and this applies to school, you know, group work. I mean, for example, like when I need help with something, I always ask my coworkers for help, and they're always happy to help. And it's the same that applies with your teammates. If you're struggling with something, you know, it affects everyone, so everyone is always trying to help. Lack of communication can Lack be the biggest struggle sometimes. Yeah. I agree. I feel like communication was a big part. Like you mentioned, needing help and talking to people. If mm -hmm. you can't find a way to ask them effectively to where they understand exactly what you need, then everybody struggles. So thank you guys for following our series tonight, Sand. We hope it helped you go further, faster with your business skills. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.